Duchenne muscular dystrophy is an inherited disorder of muscle weakness, usually found in boys between the ages of three to five. Haiti Clotter tonight introduces us to a family whose loved one's life is living with DMD, and their mission for his survival is taking them to the nation's capital. It's a genetic disorder that usually affects boys, causes muscle weakness, and it's something that Jacob Gunvalson is living with. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, is one of the most common types of muscular dystrophy. I try not to think about it as much as possible um, because I'm not going to let a disease dictate my happiness. It was at a young age that Jacob's mother, Sherry, started noticing things with his development. She used her nursing background and paid close attention to the signs. He had really good fine motor, but, not, but his gross motor um, was lagging. He fell very easily. Now Jacob thrives and is a productive member of society. He graduated from the University of North Dakota and is a social worker. Although Jacob is wheelchair bound, he doesn't take for granted performing tasks such as using his cell phone, something his peers with DMD can't do. I'm not tied to a ventilator um, and stuck in a bed all day, which unfortunately, you know, I, I know of some people that are younger than me that have that situation. The typical life expectancy for someone with DMD is mid-20s and Jacob will be 26 in a few weeks. The Gumbelsons say Translorna or Adalorin has made the difference. When there's no other drug available, it's a fatal disease. Every 90 days for the past eight years, Jacob has gone to the University of Minnesota for treatment. He's currently enrolled in a clinical trial for Adalorin, which he takes three times a day. Independence is my life. Without independence, I I'm not living my life. Adalorin is available in several countries, but not in the U.S. Next week, the Gunvalsons will travel to Washington, D.C. to attend a public forum with the Food and Drug Administration. They will share how the drug has impacted their family. I urge the panel to give weight to the benefits of the drug and look at Jacob's extraordinary experience on the drug with no risk to his health. I don't like to deal with the possibility of death, but if the drug's taken away again, I can see that trajectory really speeding up. The FDA will make a decision on Adalorin on October 24th. In Gonvick, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Jacob plans to celebrate his birthday with a trip to the Twin Cities to watch the Vikings play. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.